Dallas ISD may soon be in the school bus operation business now that a troubled bus agency for eight districts, including DISD, was rejected by voters because of mismanagement and financial problems. Fox Force Natalie Solis joins us with a look at the options the district is considering to get students to and from school. Natalie. Well, Clarice, the district's head of operations told school board members this afternoon that he thinks the best plan is to move bus operations in-house, pointing to better accountability and control as well as possible savings. You're dealing with kids on moving vehicles, and when that doesn't go well, parents get involved very quickly. Dallas ISD school board members hearing for the first time how the district plans to get about 30,000 students to and from school, a job that used to belong to the bus agency, Dallas County Schools. Scott Lane, the district's deputy director of operations, says the district could choose to go with contract services, a combination of in-house and contract services, or keep operations in-house. And that's the option he's recommending. And we hope to have everything in place within the, six, the next six months. Um, our plan is to try and start the in-house program uh, upon the conclusion of school prior to the start of summer school. What? The district was paying DCS $54 million a year for its contract. Under the new plan, the annual projected cost, about $47 million. They'll bring on more than 1,100 new employees, including drivers and bus monitors, to operate 925 buses. Bus drivers will also come on at the same hourly rate they were making with DCS and can carry over their benefits. Still concern from union reps. They're not looking at it from the perspective of the drivers and the people down on the ground. It's doing the work. Okay, and I think they're kind of glossing over a lot of potential problems that's going to arise. Lane says moving bus operations in-house brings DISD in line with other major districts in the state. But there are still lots of questions. Some trustees worried about unforeseen expenditures. What I'm driving at is how much is this going to cost us? And then, as some people would say, if you don't have it in that $53 million budget, where are you going to take the money from? Now, Lane says he does plan to travel to a Houston area district that does have a well-running bus program just to see how they do things. Now, this is not something that board members have to vote on, so the district can go ahead and move forward with its plan. Clarice.